So we are good, for example, too, based on this theorem, uh, the angle. So let's see. Uh, we are given uh, that the uh, magnitude of vector A is 4, the magnitude of vector B is 6, okay? And also theta, of course, theta is the angle between the two vectors, uh, So this is what we are given, and we need to find the dot product. We need to find A dot B. This is almost uh, uh, the opposite of what one would expect. I mean, well, normally for the first exercise, I would expect at least... Uh, if I'm expecting these sorts of things, that I'll be given two vectors and I need to find the angle between the two, but here we are given, uh, we are not given the, de the vectors themselves, but we are given the magnitude and the angle in between. The solution uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have that uh, the dot product, the product of the magnitude of A and B times cosine theta, so we are looking at 4 times 6, cosine of pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3, of course, is 1 half, so it's 24 times 1 half, or 12. And so now we'll do the next example where, matter of fact, we're going to find the angle in between two. So. In this case, we need to find the angle between two vectors. So one vector will be, uh, let's say, call it vector A, be 2i plus 2j minus k, and vector B, 5i minus 3j plus 2k. So we are looking at the at what I wrote here in the box. Let me include the corollary to this theory in the geometric interpretation. We need to use this one, right? We need to find the angle. So we'll find first the cosine, then we'll take the inverse cosine. So look at the quantities. We need the dot product. That's no big deal. And we need the magnitudes. Neither one is uh, is a challenging challenging in particular, but we need to go through. So, let's start with the numerator. We, we need the dot product. So, uh, we are looking at 2 times 5 plus 2 times negative 3 plus negative 1 times positive 2. 10 minus 6, that's 4 minus 2, so uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay. And now we need to find the magnitude of each of each vector. Again, let me know when the split is no longer needed. Uh, so the magnitude of vector A okay, is the square root of the square of its component. So we have the square root of uh, 2 squared plus the square root of uh, 2 squared plus all the square, the, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. Turn out uh, we have 4, 4, and 1, 9, so it's 3. Are we still needing the split? Okay, I'll stay with it. The second vector, B, square root of the following, the square root of 5 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 2 squared. 
think this one is irrational. Let me see, 25 plus 934 plus 438. So it's the square root of 38. 38 factor is 19 and 2. That's, uh, that's the only way to factor 38. Both are prime. Nothing we can do here. But we, we have all, the, all we need. And I will go and say cos and theta. Oh, we can solve directly for theta. Theta is the inverse cosine of, um, of what we, we had in the theorem. So it's the inverse cosine of a dot b divided by the uh, product of the magnitudes. Okay, like so. So <clears throat> now I'm sure I'm, can done, I'm done with the speed. So it will be the inverse cosine of uh, the dot product was 2, and here we have 3 square root of 38. And that's it. Uh, I think if you plug it in the calculator, you get some kind of angle. Right? Anybody has a quick calculator? I don't know who is the quickest gun in the West. I know, I know. I mean, I, this is a good answer for me. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, you need to buy a better quality calculator. Or use parentheses properly, something. I'm sorry? Robin? 0.7. So we're rounded to 84 degrees. That sounds right. 